Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. Today I'm back again. We are going to talk about confidence interval for variance. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So this is the second part of my previous uh, video, which was confidence interval for standard deviation. Uh, there we have found out the two critical values of chi-square. We need to use the chi-square for curve to determine the confidence interval for variance and standard deviation. Our confidence interval was 99%. Level of significance is 1 minus 0 0.99, which is 0 0.01, which is divided equally into two tells. 0 0.01 divided by 2 is 0 0.005, so 0 0.005 in the left tail. So area to the right of the left tail is 1 minus uh, 0 0.005, which is 0 0.995. And area to the right of the right critical value in the right tail is 0 0.005, which is chi-square 0 0.005. And that value is uh, 52.326. Now the formula for confidence interval for the population variance is given by n minus one s squared divided by chi square alpha by two. Okay, less than chi square, less than sigma square. The sigma square is the variance, and the upper boundary is n minus one s squared divided by chi square one minus alpha by two. So these are the two boundaries. The lower boundary is n minus one s times s squared divided by chi square alpha by two. And the right boundary of the confidence interval for the variance is n minus one s squared divided by chi square one minus alpha by two. So if we substitute the values, we know n is 30. So 30 minus one and s is given as 1.3 in the problem statement. So 1.3 squared uh, multiplied by divided by chi square alpha by two, which is 52.326. That's time sigma squared and the upper boundary or the right boundary is 30 minus one times 1.3 squared divided by chi square one minus alpha by two, which is 13.121. So the lower boundary is 29 times 1.9, which is 1.3 squared divided by 52.326, whereas the upper boundary is 29 times 1.69 divided by 13.121. So the uh, lower boundary of the variance is 0.9366 and the upper boundary of the variance is 3.7352. With 99% confidence, we can state that the actual population variance will fall between 0.936 and 3.7352, okay? Now we need to calculate the 99% confidence interval for the standard deviation. We know standard deviation is square root of the variance. So we take the square root of the lower boundary to get square root 0.9366 and the upper boundary is square root of 3.7352. So the standard deviation, which is square root of the variance sigma will fall between 0.9678 and 1.9326. What do these two numbers mean? With 99% confidence, we can state that the actual population standard deviation will fall between 0 0.968 and 1.933. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll uh, reply to you right away. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. I come back every to solutions to new problems. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.